First, let me start by saying I need a jug. Welcome again to another Rick's construction class. And today, I'll be doing something a little different. Today, I'll be doing five life acts. These life acts can be done from things that we cannot find around the house. These are the things you are going to need. WD-40, baking soda, olive oil, hydrogen peroxide. Number one, using the toothpaste to clean the headlight. We have the tartar protection, which is appropriate. We, we have the peroxide and baking soda, which is also good. But just about any toothpaste can be used. Any toothpaste can be used. But remember, no tooth gel. Tooth gel cannot be used. It's not appropriate for this. But any toothpaste, any brand, once it's toothpaste, can be used. I'm going to show you how the headlight looks and this is how it looks. If you look carefully you'll see you, you see some smudges. All of this is caused by the elements such as the rain and the sunlight that discolor this headlight have a yellowish greenish look. But we are going to remove that using the toothpaste. Yeah, so you apply a little toothpaste and rub it in a circular motion to start the process and I'm going to fast forward it here. Yes, so after leaving the toothpaste on the headlight for a few minutes, now I'm going to be using some water, ordinary tap water, to remove the toothpaste. And so that is exactly what I'm doing here, just using the water to remove the toothpaste. Then I get my rag, clean dry rag, and I'm going to be cleaning it also to remove the toothpaste so right now I'm buffing it in a circular motion to get rid of all the residue that will probably be there so I'm getting rid of all of that and I'm buffing it in a circular motion so here is what it will look like after I'm finished cleaning number two and in this half we'll be showing you how to clean your leather interior your vinyl interior or your leatherette not the cloth and we'll be using the olive oil so right now i'm showing you we'll be looking at the interior before it is clean this is the interior it's a leatherette interior upholstery material and as i said before no cloth so this is how it looks before it is clean before you apply the olive oil yes yeah, so before you apply the olive oil make sure you clean the area we are going to now apply the olive oil simple olive oil that you can find around the house you are going to rub it in to the material and this what it does it really keep the material moist and the texture will be there without cracking up when the sun it's the material it won't crack number three so this is our third life hack we are going to use the WD-40 to remove all the scratches surface scratches from your bumper this is one of my favorite hacks because this hack you see the bumper right here all of these surface scratches so this product might be unfamiliar to most of you this is what we call a WD-40 it can be purchased at any convenience store any auto accessory area of the auto part it can also be purchased at the hardware or even at gas station and its main use is to remove rust from nuts and bolts and but today we'll be using it to remove all the surface scratches from your bumper and so 
all you need is the WD-40 and a nice dry rag to remove the scratches. So, if you so here's you may apply in the WD-40 to the area. So I'm going to just fast forward this as you see me doing it. It's a very cheap method of getting rid of these scratches because if you should take your car to a body shop to remove all of these by buffing it, it costs you thousands of dollars. But with the WD-40 costing about three to four US or 200 to 400 Jamaican dollars, save you a lot of money. So here you can see the WD-40 has removed all the scratches. Number four. Are you tired of all those unpleasant odor coming from your sinks, your bathroom sink, your kitchen sink? Well, this act is for you with a little hydrogen peroxide pour down your sink will remove all such unpleasant odor and make your sink smell brand new number five this is the final hack that i'll be showing you in this video we'll be using the hydrogen peroxide and baking soda to remove all the grime and dirt that is on your tile right within the grout joint we are going to remove all such dirt that lodge in the grout joint and so all you need is some baking soda you need hydrogen peroxide and you need a container to mix it in and you also need a toothbrush to remove or to scrub the dirt and grime away so after you apply the mixture together you're going to dip your toothbrush in it or any object that you have to a brush to remove the area you're going to scrub it until it's clean i'll be scrubbing the grout joint with a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and uh, baking soda i'm just going to fast forward this section so look at the difference from where i was scrubbing versus where i didn't get to scrub it's a great great difference Thanks again for watching another one of my videos. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Derek Johnson and I upload every two weeks. So be sure to look out for the next one. And if you have any comments to make, be sure to make it on the comment box below. If you want me to do anything that you are interested in, be sure to comment likewise in the box below.